Hello, so this is the overview of their first lab, Git. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what is Git. So Git is a version control system. What exactly it is, is that uh, um, when you work on a project, um, you don't actually write the code in one go, right? You, you keep working on the project. You, one day you make some change uh, to the project, you add files, you change some classes. So Git is a tool that we can use to track uh, how your source code changes over time, okay? Um, so why, 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 why do you need Git? Why do you need to track changes uh, of your code base? So basically, uh, if you track all the changes with uh, Git or any other version control software, you have your code history uh, available. Okay, so if you make a mistake today, you can always bring back uh, old copies of your code uh, to, 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 uh, to work on, uh, to, to modify, okay? So you may have uh, a, a working version of your software and then you, you work for a week and then you destroy everything, you change it, all the class and you decided that uh, maybe uh, the old version is better. S if you keep all the versions um, in a, an organized way, you can always bring the old versions back, okay? And if you put your code on the server, okay, um, then you never have a tragic accident of uh, having a failing hard drive or, you know, your friend accidentally delete all the files, okay? So your code will have uh, all the backed up and, and it's online and then you can, you, you can forget all the, the um, sad day of having uh, no code, uh, no project code again, okay? And it, it actually helps you track your work. So if you uh, put your code uh, history uh, in, in, in the version control software regularly. So this would help you track your work, okay? And, and this uh, version contro control software also help you collaborate with your team. And if your code has uh, many versions, uh, it helps you to manage them, okay? So let's see the overview of the lab uh, that we will do it today, okay? So there will be three parts, okay? So the first part, you learn how to create a repository and how to commit now to check state of the repository. So let's look at the document a minute. So the document start by uh, with the steps to download the, the Git software. And we'll start by let you uh, create some HTML page. Okay, uh, we, f we give you the command lines that you can practice. And then we'll learn a few Git commands, uh, Git init, Git status. And you will, uh, in sec uh, task 1.2, you create a, a simple HTML page. And then um, after you get the first page done and it looks nice, um, you, you learn how to commit, okay? So the material will be available in, in another YouTube clip, but th this, this would give you the, the, the idea of what we would do in the class, okay? So when you're done with the commit, okay? So before you can commit, you need to uh, add the file and then you can check the status and then you commit, okay? And then uh, you make change, and then we'll commit the new change to the repository. So that's uh, basically uh, the first uh, part of the, the lab. The second part will be about uh, ignoring files, okay? Uh, it is that um, when you put files into the Git repository, we usually don't put all the files. For example, you may have uh, some data file that contains some of your password. Uh, you might not want to put that into the Git repository because if you make a mistake, then the password will be leaked and, and people will get into your system, right, basically. And uh, and we might not put a large data file into uh, Git repository b because it's just a data. So uh, we, we, we might not put that or some temp files. So um, uh, we we can use uh, .git ignore file to ignore the files. So you learn that in part two, okay? And finally, the last part of the lab will be about uh, branching, okay? So Git has um, a very nice branching models. So what, what, what is branch? Um, you learn it in, in, in the lab as well, but basically um, because Git tracks histories, but um, it's the history of your code. So it's not like real world history where, where you have just a linear history like last minute, last hour. But um, with code, you can have many histories uh, at the same time. So, um, so this is called a branch. So you can keep versions and, you know, 
so it's a kind uh, it's, it's rather complex thing but we'll, we'll look at the simple part of it so if you want to turn back the time so you need to uh, go back and then create new branches so um, we learned a little bit about this uh, it is not enough uh, we're not going to learn everything about branches but if you work in a team brand you need to really understand this part um, and, and what we learn here might not be enough but um, but it, it will be the starting point okay so um, there will be three parts uh, of the lab and um, as the bonus bonus materials um, we'll edit HTML files so you learn how to write a little bit of HTML in this lab as well okay all right so um, three parts um, the document will has a um, a point, a checkpoint where you need to call a TA that you finished uh, this part. Um, I haven't added yet, but it will be available. So you call the TA, TA will talk with you to make sure that you understand the material and, and, and he'll mark your progress on the lab. All right, so have fun.